Hello, my name is Mrs Molster and I'm Head of Film and Media at Snyder Academy. Um, in this short presentation I'm going to be talking you through what is involved in the A-Level uh, Media Studies course. If you've got any questions you can contact me on my email address which will be shown at the end of the presentation. Okay, so welcome to this short presentation about A-Level Media Studies. Um, I just want to give you a quick overview of what the course entails. So obviously it's a two-year course. In year 12, we start the course with an introduction to the media framework, which underpins the entire course. And then we move on to focusing on component one. I'll tell you a bit more about that in a minute. Um, the main areas of the media that we look at there are advertising, film marketing, we look at music video, newspapers, radio and video games. Um, and then we round off year 12 by doing component three, which is the cross media production. That's basically like the coursework part of the course. Okay, and I'll tell you a bit more about that on a later slide. In year 13, we, we start the year by revising a lot of the skills that we learnt in year 12. And then we move on to looking at um, the second component, component two, the main areas there being television, magazines, and online media. And our exam board is Educast. Component one then, so this is the first exam which we focus in on in year 12. Component one is, is known as media products, industries and audiences. And, and it results in um, an exam that's two hours and 15 minutes. So the examination assesses is the areas of the media framework, including language, representation, industries, audiences and contexts. And there are two sections. The first section focuses in on the media language and representation part of the course. Um, and it looks at uh, advertising, marketing, music video, newspapers. So the students will have set texts that they study, but also some unseen texts that they'll be analysing. For section B of the exam, it focuses on the industries and the audiences. So again, looking at advertising, marketing, film, newspapers, radio and video games. Um, this time the focus will be more on the industry side of the course and how audiences respond to texts. Here are some of the texts that we study for component one. We tend to start the course looking at advertising. Some of our texts are historical texts. So you can see that there's like a 1950s advert for Tide. And then at the top of the slide there, we look at more modern advertising, um, a water aid charity campaign. We um, look at film marketing. So we look at I, Daniel Blake and Black Panther as two very different sorts of films and the way that they are marketed to get people interested in them. Um, we have a look at radio. Late Night Woman's Hour is our radio show that we look at. Um, video games, Assassin's Creed is the video game that we focus on. We also look at newspapers, um, The Times being one of the newspapers that we focus on. And we look at music video and we look at two very different music videos, a more mainstream one. We look at Beyonce and then a more independent alternative music video. And we look at um, a song called Riptide. So component two, the, the second part of the assessment, which we focus in on in year 13, is called Media Forms Products in Depth. And this is a two and a half hour examination. This is what I would call a synoptic unit. So everything that you've studied throughout the whole course comes to bear here. So the four areas of the media language framework, um, of the media framework, media language, representation, industries, audiences, and contexts come to bear on this paper. And there are three sections. So section A, we look at television in the global age. Section B, we look at both mainstream and alternative magazines. And then for section C, we're looking at um, online media. So here are some of the texts that we study for component two. In terms of television, we look at two television shows. Um, one is like a British American co-production called Humans, which is um, a Channel 4 science fiction TV show, which was very popular. And then we look at a French TV show called The Returned, which was um, a global success. Both very, very popular shows with our students. Um, in terms of magazines, 
Vogue is a magazine that we focus on and then we compare that to the big issue, so two very different sorts of magazines. And for our online media, we focus in on um, Zoella and the work that she's done online. And then we look at an online magazine and it's Attitude magazine that we look at. So the final part of assessment is component three. This is the cross media production. Now this is what's known as non-exam assessment. So this is coursework rather than examination. Um, for this part of the course, students produce two media products um, in response to a brief that the exam board gives us. So we have to produce something that's audio visual and something that's print based. So in the past, we've had students making music videos and then um, a music magazine or a website to go alongside it. We've had people doing film marketing, so making um, posters and DVD covers for a film and then doing a TV interview with the director. And we've had people making lifestyle magazines and then doing a radio interview with the editor of the magazine. Here's just a quick example of some of the work that students have produced in A-level media studies in the past. So you can see there we've got some um, magazine work, film marketing work, um, music work, looking at music marketing in terms of things like CD covers. So why choose media studies at St Ivo? So more and more, media studies is becoming an incredibly important subject. Media does play a central role in all of our lives. It plays a central role in contemporary culture, society and politics. The course does work well with other subjects. English, photography, art, graphics, ethics, business studies. They're all really nice or sort of complementary elements in this subject that go well with other subjects. Uh, finally, it's a subject where you can get involved with media outside the classroom as well. So you can volunteer to be a media ambassador helping out with projects in school and you can get involved with some of the projects that we do, such as last year we did the, the BBC Three Creative Futures Day. Um, overall, what is really fun about the subject is it's a subject where you are doing analytical stuff, but practical stuff as well. So you learn about the media as an outsider looking in, but then you get to make the media yourself. And for a lot of our students, that's what they particularly enjoy about the course. So here's a, here's a quote from one of our past students, which I think sums up media studies really nicely. Finally, then, if you've got any questions, anything you'd like more information about, um, here's my email address. Um, don't hesitate to get in touch and I really hope to hear from you. Thank you.